Hi there everybody, on today's video I have this uh, 2002 Mercedes CLK uh, This is a C230, the 4 cylinder And um, I'm going to be changing the camshaft uh, magnet uh, adjuster so, so this is the the part basically that I'm changing because um, so that's the bit there that I'm going to be changing and the reason I'm changing is because it's leaking oil from the plug and the oil is just coming out and it's dripping all the way down through the front so we can have a look at that in a minute and this part comes with this little uh, rubber here which goes in, in the center of this uh, magnet uh, so I'm going to start by removing this cover so this cover you just need to um, pull this little bit here that is holding on to down here and then just to slide it out got this hole here just to slide it out from here so this is the part that we're changing and I'm gonna be taking the plug out so you need to press on the sides of the clip here press on the top and the bottom and pull this out and also you can pull this out by pressing on that little clip there so we can have a close-up now that we know more or less what we're doing so these two just unplug and then uh, we need to undo those uh, bolts there and that is a size 8 so it's a size 8 and it's that style, it's like a star type of socket Not sure if we are able able to see this uh, plug here, but um, it's all wet and it's got oil in it, and I can see the oil in this in this socket as well in this plug. So we'll have a look at that in a minute once I remove. Make sure you don't drop those little bolts. Okay, so if we look at this socket. It's got um, oil inside of it. So we can basically see the oil in there. And that oil is dripping out and just uh, making a mess of everything. 
so now we can just uh, clean the the surface there where the new part is going to sit So I'm just using a little bit of uh, emery type of paper, so it's like a little uh, sanding paper, to clear the uh, the burnt um, oil around this. Okay, so I just wiped the area and uh, now we can fit our part. Um, in the past I also noticed I had um, oil leaking from not only not from only from the socket but also from the side of this area leaking down this so I'm not sure how this is supposed to seal itself against that surface but um, I applied some uh, some sealant so some high uh, resistance uh, heat it's quite resistant to heat sealant um, and I will apply just a little bit around it just to make sure it doesn't leak. Okay, so I just applied a little bit around it. Don't need to put too much. And then we can refit this part. Now. Um, Now those bolts are really um, small, they're really tiny, so um, just be careful not to over tighten them because they might just uh, snap. Um, as you can see I'm using a very small ratchet as well, which doesn't allow me to put much for force on those. Um, I'm not really sure how many newton meters those are supposed to be, but uh, but um, just uh, just be careful when tightening them. Okay, so I've just rinsing there the um, the wire and the socket there because it's, it's, it had oil. So I rinsed it a little bit with some brake and clutch fluid cleaner, and now I can plug it back in.
central magnet. This is the, the part number I used. Pierre Berg. Just Uh, it was sent from Germany. The actual part number it's uh, is basically I think it says A one 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 zero five one zero zero seven seven. rubber cup here which just needs to be pushed in there so just before pushing it there's a little um, like o-ring here so I'm just gonna put a little bit of grease in there so it slides in nicely Okay, so we just need to push that in until it uh, sort of clips in there. So the moment is sticking out a little bit. I'm just going to use this uh, extension here. To push it in there nicely. So that's gone in there nicely now. It's clipped in and uh, you can see it's gone in. So. Um, Before I fit this uh, the cover back, I'm gonna start the engine and just uh, check around for any oil leaks. So I just uh, rinse in the area a little bit with some brake and clutch fluid cleaner uh, so I can detect any oil leaks a little bit easier if any develop but um, I don't know if it can be seen here but uh, it's been leaking for a long time and down there it's all, it's all black the oil that has accumulated so as soon as I apply some cleaner it becomes kind of silvery again okay so I can't really see any uh, anything major happening there um, we have to double check with time and uh, and at least we know that the socket is no longer going to be leaking and maybe causing any problems in the electrical connection there. So I'm going to feed the cover back. And that's it. So I um, hope this video helps and thanks for watching.